Good morning, so nice to have you joining us today. Hope your day, as always, is off to a good start. For all you parents out there who are gearing up for the beginning of the school year, good luck. You're going to hang in there and do it. You know you will. And so often our conversation and focus can turn, understandably, to the little ones out there, the kindergartners and first graders just beginning down their road. And sometimes the high schoolers can get a little bit overlooked. But this morning, we're going to begin by talking about them, ninth graders specifically down in Whitfield County. Danielle Putnam is on with us. She is the Executive Director at Family mm -hmm. Frameworks, uh, which will be a very familiar name to folks who live in the area because chances are their kids mm -hmm. have benefited from your organization in years past. Yeah, I sure hope so. <laughs> Julie, thanks so much for having me today. Yeah, I'm thrilled to have you. So uh, I mentioned the high school component. Y'all specifically are going in and have been since, what, 2004? We have, that's right. We go into the classrooms in eight local high schools in the ninth grade class during their mandatory health class, and we work with the teens, usually 14, 15 years old, for seven weeks in the fall and seven weeks in the spring to talk about healthy relationships, how to get out of abusive relationships, and healthy decision making. So if you are someone who maybe you're raising your kids, mm -hmm. if you have little children, you might be thinking, oh, that won't be my child. Mm -hmm. If you're raising middle to college age students, chances are you're going, oh yeah, that's a real problem <laughs> because kids today don't understand, it seems like, self-respect. That's mm -hmm. a hard thing for them to grasp. It really is, and I don't even know how we ended up where we are, but we're finding the importance of teaching intrinsic value is so important right now, and going back to what character is and how to develop your own character and the importance of having good quality character mm -hmm. and morals. Uh, you know, over, especially over the last couple of years with COVID and things, kids have really been very reclusive and so into their electronics. And so getting them to talk about what's going on in their lives in a classroom setting mm -hmm. with a guest speaker for seven weeks, uh, it just has been very powerful, the things that we're hearing and learning and that we're able to help influence these teens on making better decisions. I want to get into some of those specifics that you do here, but the reason you're here this morning is not just because it's a good time with back to school, but on August 11th, y'all are doing your annual fundraiser and as we talk about it the event itself is free you're asking yes. for donations but you're feeding people in good faith that they too will be touched by what they hear and want to mm -hmm. help with what you're doing. We are, we're really excited about it. Once a year we have a like a banquet dinner, we call it a tailgate because it's a kickoff to the school and the sports season. Yeah. And we invite the community to come this year. It's going to be at the Creative Arts Guild at 6.30 on Thursday, August 11th. We invite the community to come and to enjoy a dinner. Uh, we actually have some fun entertainment this year, which is different than before. Some of the local high school students are going to be performing a dance from all nice. the different high schools. So that will be fun and entertaining. And then we'll, of course, talk about the organization and share information on how people can get involved. You know, you're a mom. Uh, soon am, to have your as fourth. As you can see. <laughs> soon to have your fourth baby. Uh, I don't know, how, how old are your other children? Seven, four, and two. Okay, so they're still little, mm -hmm. uh, but you know what's down the road. And as yes. your kids get older, mm -hmm. often, especially with moms of boys, you'll hear them say that they just don't talk to you anymore. Mm. But, they're, but they need to talk to somebody. They do. So that's also where y'all can step mm -hmm. in because you are kind of an objective voice coming in, right? That's right, because they're already in these classrooms. And I know that the coaches and the teachers in our local school system really do care about these students. They have a full curriculum that they have to teach and get through, right? Mm -hmm. So as they're developing relationships, they're also the ones that are saying, no, you have to get your test scores up and you have to do your homework, right? right. But then we come in as a guest speaker in this classroom and the students really let their guard down and they open up to us and talk about, uh, you know, it, it shocks you. But on day one, some of them might say, oh, well, I'm a cutter and I live with my aunt and uncle and my parents are in prison or, you know, it's like they'll mm -hmm. just, put everything out there on the table of right. these are all my issues or you know a big one right now Julie that it just breaks our hearts is you know especially coming out of COVID and everybody being so reclusive suicide prevention we're really mm -hmm. having to talk about more than we ever have before right these teens are battling with things in their mind and they need somebody to talk to and so we're finding that as we go in as volunteer teachers they open up and talk to us and so we 
point them to healthy decision making. Talk to me a little bit if you can, we don't have all the time in the world, but we'll get into it where we can, about the importance of validating mm -hmm. kids. Because and I have a teenager at my mm -hmm. house still, she's 17, my older one just turned 24, and I have to remind myself a lot that especially in those teenage years, yeah. a day is your whole world. You right. don't have any concept then of seeing that three years from now, things will be different. You've got to just get through the mm -hmm. day. So if your feelings are dismissed, doesn't that make you feel even more hopeless mm -hmm. as the teenager? Boy, that's a great point. And you know, I'm so glad you brought up the word validating because that, that is a piece that we do teach in our curriculum, the importance of validating each other, mm. right? And so even as volunteer teachers, we like to go in and validate the students and talk to them about their worth and their opportunities for success in the future and how they can break any kind of poverty cycle that they've been in okay. in their family and they can move forward. And we teach them and we do activities and role playing for validating each other. Mm -hmm. you know, we bring up students, we have them say nice things about each other. Oh, that's good. And then talk about how did that make you feel? Okay, what about mm -hmm. that one? Something else that's a common phrase in our house is that you see what you want to see. So oh, if okay. you are somebody who focuses on the negative mm -hmm. before you know it, that's all you're going to see. Yeah. So if you're teaching these kids to be complimentary, mm -hmm. it becomes easier for them to be complimentary. Is good that the point. idea? Well, that is really good. But also just to make, I, I guess so, yes, but then to make them feel good and help others feel good. Right. You know, and they're at this age, this ninth grade age, they all want to start dating if they're not oh, yeah. already, right? I mean, we talk about relationships. Some of them are in abusive relationships and they don't even know it. But then some of them, they want to let somebody know that they're interested in them and they don't even know how. And so we actually talk about validation with that too, how to be a nice person and validate other people mm -hmm. so you can make other people feel good and then more people are gonna to wanna to be around you, but you as you are, enter the dating scene. But you are, I'll use the word old fashioned mm -hmm. enough that you, you see certain truths to be just that. Mm -hmm. So you teach something called the success principle? We do, success pathway, pathway success okay. principle. And data has proven that, and this is what we really encourage the students, this is what we're teaching in the classrooms. We encourage them to, let's graduate high school. I think we can all agree on the importance of graduating high school. Once we've graduated, then let's decide if we want to go to a post-secondary uh, education, mm -hmm. whether it's college or a certificate program or a trade school. And there's a lot of options, so we like to talk about the different options that they can do, right? Mm -hmm. And then let's pursue your career path and make sure that you can get stable, and then let's get into a healthy relationship before bringing children into the world. Right. If we do it in that order, then statistics have proven your chances of living in a life cycle of poverty go down to 2%. So when you have this event coming up on mm -hmm. August 11th, which is again at no cost to you to come and enjoy the dinner and the dancing entertainment and the donation monies begin to come in, mm -hmm. is that used simply to help pay for the volunteers and staff that are out there in the schools or are you hoping to expand the program to other schools? Great question. It, it is currently used to help fund and, and support the program. We reach okay. 2,500 students a year. Wow. We're in 48 classrooms in the fall, 48 classrooms in the spring. And so for our volunteer teachers that go in, for our staff for the organization, and for supplies for the students, for the activities and things that we do, uh, it takes supplies that we need to be able to, to work with the students. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the donations go towards. When it comes to expansion, there are a couple high schools, especially down in Gordon County, that we'd like to expand into. Mm -hmm and we would like to continue to grow. So, yeah. yes. It would be an excellent time for you to go. And if you have a, a teenager in your house mm -hmm. too, you might learn a lot while you're yeah. there. Because I tell you what, we parents need all the support and assistance we can get to. Mm -hmm. So they are asking for reservations so that they can have a head count. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to go unfed. Mm -hmm. So if you'll email her, danielle at familyframeworks.us. There's also the QR code you can see there on your screen. You can do it just with the click of your phone. Uh, all, everything begins at 6.30 on Thursday, August 11th. And in the meantime, if you want to learn more about Family Frameworks, here is their phone number and their website down there in Dalton. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks and you're so welcome much. to come back even if it's not a fundraising time. It's <laughs> a worthwhile you. conversation. Really appreciate you having us today. After you've had baby number four. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're back after this. The people and places in the Tennessee Valley are special. Join Local 3 News as we explore our communities, 
bringing you the hidden treasures and unusual local stories in your town. Brought to you by Warren and Griffin, your local five-star law firm. Camo or flannel, crew cab or extended, some choices are hard to make. Take the three big jacks, for instance. Three great choices, one big decision. Choose the new spicy Big Jack, featuring sliced jalapenos and our fiery lava sauce. Try the new Bacon Ranch Big Jack with crispy bacon, or keep it classic with the original Big Jack. Introducing the three Big Jacks, starting at $4.99. Get them before they're gone. Jacks, all about the South. How do you know you're getting the most money for your gold, silver, and old jewelry at Cleveland's Coin & Jewelry? Just come see for yourself. How can Cleveland's Coin & Jewelry really offer so much beautiful new and pre-owned jewelry of unmatched quality at such incredible prices? Stop by. We'll show you.